So, yes, first track day in the in the in the new Boxster. Hasn't really gone to plan. <laughs> Oops! Will it reset? Uh, I don't know. But you it's got any brakes? Hey? You got any brakes? Yeah, I got brakes. Just stop the car and just try and reset it. You might have to turn it off fully. That's it. Oh, it's gone. Oh, she's not happy. Oh shit. She's not happy, is she? To do the race. Yeah. It felt like a lack, lack of power oh. on that straight. I was kind of going, oh, I feel it doesn't feel like it's as, pow as powerful. Yeah. And then as soon as I kind of, as soon as we got up to that sort of breaking point, it just let go. I don't know what to do, whether to try and just, start. Well, I'll try. Go on. No, she's not happy, is she? No. No. Uh. Uh. Uh oh, we have a problem. He's broken it. Charlie's broken the car. It's broken He's down. Two hours, Fuck, and it's broken. You? We're uh, just we've just gone under Fully the bridge. Fully broken. Um, but nobody's coming to get us yet. He's just dragging us around. We're getting dragged around. <laughs> Fucking hell, we are going quite quick. Mate, I don't have any brakes. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any fucking brakes. If he... This is what happens when you buy a cheap track car. Shit! Shit. They kill us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Up. <laughs> this is probably the best ten pounds I've ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell, Bush. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking hell. Keep tight. Keep tight. There you go. She's filming. <laughs> she has to film it. I think we have to make another Charlie Drives episode. Now. <laughs> We're gonna have to. <laughs> Shit. Could you imagine if we went into the back of him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is how Charlie comes back off track in his new little track toy. Oh, recovery vehicle number one. Well done, boys. 
Was it worth it? Well, I got my money's worth. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he paid 10 quid for like four laps. <laughs> oh, boys. What's wrong with it? Don't know. Engine's blown up. Don't say that. Might have done. Charlie. <laughs> How are we going to get home, babe? Uh, well, it's a good thing Rob's here, isn't it? Rob, you towing us home? You can't be with the dogs. Are you towing us home? Shotgun, mate. Shotgun. I'm in the front seat. Oh, screw <laughs> off. <laughs> Alex can go in the backpack. No, that's Charlie. It's where he deserves to be. Yeah, he does. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think we must call your brother now. So, yes, first track day in the, in the, in the new Boxster. Hasn't really gone to plan. Um, <laughs> you'll, you'll see in the, you'll probably see in the YouTube video. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, Boxster has uh, failed. Basically, we were going, we were going down the, uh, the the long straight at Snetterton, and it did, it it felt like it suddenly had a loss of power, and then everything just went. Um, but yeah, so yes. Got to figure out how to get it home. Um, and then it's gonna to go to the workshop and hopefully it won't be too much of a big issue. Um, maybe it's just an electrical issue, crank sensor potentially. Um, otherwise, um, it could be something a little bit more serious, but hey, we don't know, um, but I'll keep you updated. Oh, oh, you mean I'd need to buy a new engine, yeah? Yeah. Not a new one, a used one. Oh, and, uh, yeah, and, and uh, so, so do you think the existing engine is like not even recoverable? No, it's not. The oh. amount of money it would cost to fix that engine, Charlie, not worth it, dude. Really? Fuck. You'd be cheaper off buying it. You'd Hold be on. Cheaper, you'd be cheaper off buying a, a used engine. Not only that, but then you've got more downtime because the engine's poor. So do you, do, you, do you think that maybe the IMS bearing is what has let go or? It's possible. Um, I will tell you this, Charlie, and I'm not being funny. There's a lot of people that say shit gets done in the cars that never gets done in the cars. And Porsche engines are actually pretty fucking hardy. They typically uh, only ever fuck up when either A, they've been neglected, B, they've been over revved, or C, shit's not been done like it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. This is how we leave a racetrack. I'm filming, Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, we're being we're being towed out. <laughs> oh my god. Let's oh, do you know what I was just uh, it was really annoying as well because I was just thinking how good this fucking car was on track as well. It was great so on track, good. Douglas. I mean the the, the is actually a phenomenally good handling car. Yeah. There's no question about that. That's yeah. amazing on how they go around the track. Yeah. Hey look at the bright side though. <laughs> exactly, mate. Um, so, in answer to the question, can you buy a good Porsche? Can you buy a Porsche five five Boxster for under five grand? No. No, you cannot. Yeah. Can you just say that again? What's that? Sorry. When I turned it over, I went, oh, that's fucked that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do you want what? a jelly baby? Uh, well, this is where not to leave the jelly babies when you're on a track day in a car that's just about to blow up. And they were left in there? Yep, in there. They were right here. Oh dear. And now they're all a bit... <laughs> Look. Oh dear. Look, yeah. it's like jelly baby oh. goo. Oh. <laughs> eat it, eat it, go on, eat, eat it. it. No, go on. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Sideways, yeah, yeah, cool. Here we are. So rescue number two. Thanks to Rob from iValet for the re first rescue. And now man checks. Yeah, really nice chat. Really nice. He said the car's fucked. <laughs> he did say the car's fucked. So is it cooled down now? Yeah, well, oh, getting wet. Yeah, Just well. it's really dark in here now. I'm just aware that we haven't actually I can't really see the face. Uh, well, it's fine, you just have to listen. All right, this is what it sounds like. So what have you been told that sound says? It's fucked. <laughs> so, what do you think your wife thinks about this? 
Big mistake. <laughs> big. Huge. <laughs> yeah, huge. <laughs> it's not a pretty woman moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the esprit. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to get it home. It'll have to sit on the driveway for a while and um, maybe I could just sell the bits and pieces from it one by one and eventually get my money back. I don't know. The number plate is probably worth about 300 quid. Call my brother. The steering wheel is about 300 quid. Um, could probably get about 50 quid for the gear knob. That's probably about 50 quid. Look, it says Porsche on it. You get about 50 quid for that. Um, maybe 150 quid for the seats. Hey, what about the melted gummies? <laughs> melted gummies in there. Somebody will pay two quid for them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Might be able to get a bit of money for it. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see. See what happens. Mm. Boo. But we had fun today. Yeah, it was fun. And you drove really well. And it's all on video, so. We had lots of fun. Yep, we had fun. But anyway, we'll keep you guys posted. A broken date. A broken date. <laughs> Failed. I'll have to cancel my dinner reservations. <laughs> anyway, see you later.